I'm Lisette Gonzalez, weather anchor for CBS 4 News. Coming up, the Welcome Channel is introducing you to the best the Miami and its beaches has to offer. I'm Lisette Gonzalez, live from the Mercedes-Benz corporate run in downtown Miami. You're not going to believe how many people are pounding the pavement. The Super Bowl Sunday, we're kicking off the day with tons of sunshine here at Sun Life Stadium. Live in Miami Beach for the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. I'm trying to cook a burger, but I think I'm going to need some help from the Burger Bash champ from last year. What do you think? Live at the Hall of Fame Marina at the world's largest boat show in Fort Lauderdale. I have the details on the boat show and your Halloween and weekend forecast. ¿Están listos para algo extra? En español. A ver, Mario, ¿qué te parece? No más te falta la seta. Jude Law's admission he cheated on his fiance with the nan. Este verano, el joven baladista Enrique Iglesias. Celebrando un sueño que nació aquí en Miami. Baking cookies with the Camdens and were behind the scenes at their Entertainment Weekly photo shoot. Solo extra en español acompaña Juanes en la autopista de NASCAR. Little Latin flavor, a little bit of sabor latino, David. And we have got the returning champ from last year, Mr. Spike Man. Saying, come on, he's the owner of Good Stuff Eatery, Washington, hey. D.C. We are here with the first Latin artist to film a NASCAR campaign, Juanes. How does that feel? Where can I go for good Cuban food, Andy? Donde? Arroy, frijoles, rice and beans here in Los Angeles. I need your help. <laughs> Begin with a little Harry Potter news, the star Daniel Radcliffe. He's all grown up and his new acting role is apparently too mature for some parents. I'm skiing in the snow. I couldn't help it. I had to sing and ski. Oh my gosh. Tom, do you, you think did. I can compete now with Tiger Woods? I think so. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm ready for this world championship. And it is time to kick off your Sunday shoes and put on your dancing ones. Left, right, and switch, switch, hit, hit. Go. So we're going to have our first coffee break of the morning, and uh, Lisette doesn't need any coffee because no. she's already hopping around. Yeah, although I've had a lot of Cuban coffee this morning. I'm Lisette Gonzalez. Get your day started with CBS 4 News this morning at 5 a.m. Well, Lonnie, I thought I was going to get a break from all the wet weather in South Florida, but it was pouring yesterday in New York. What's going on? In addition to that, I heard that you may be wearing a Speedo this time around. Or, le or less. I mean, there what? is all. It, it what do you miss the most about Miami, though? <laughs> the weather. <laughs> but right now, Mother Nature scoring a touchdown when it comes to the weather because the sun is out and it is blazing hot. Yeah. Well, Joan, just call me Speedy Gonzalez today because I'm tracking <laughs> these speedy showers. Yeah, we've got clouds on the ground, clouds on the ground <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it's happening tonight in Beverly Hills at the 21st Annual Imagen Awards. Best picture, best actor, best director. How does it feel to be nominated for a film that you've poured your heart and your soul into. Do you feel that young women are now gaining confidence, embracing their curves because of women like you, Sama Hayek, America, that are keeping it real? How do you feel about all the recognition that the Latino filmmakers and actors are getting this year at the Oscars? Everybody loves the Everybody Hates Chris family. Why do you think that everyone is falling in love with the show? Just keep it simple, you know what I mean? Like Seventh Heaven. I mean, the longest running drama in television history. How does that feel? This is your 11th season. This is an honor. I'm a big fan of Busta. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. He's in Puerto Rico, so he's speaking Spanish. I am here with the Academy Award nominated director, Mr. John Singleton. Actor, singer, model, you do it all, baby boy. I'm actually the Cuban American correspondent from Miami. You've been incredible. And I saw your video with Rosalind Sanchez. Very, very hot. Yeah. What was it like working with Rosalind? This is Dancing with the Stars. Researchers have found that not only waltzing, but any form of dance can be just as effective or even more effective than a traditional aerobic workout. The band is playing tonight. They're one of LA's hottest Latino bands, and we're going to check them out. You may think that you have to head to Hollywood or the Sunset Strip to find the hottest spots in the Southland, but no, we have discovered a very cool place. Came to Mountain High with three missions. Mission number one, to learn how to ski. Mission number two, to make a snow angel. I know it sounds silly, but I've never done it before. Mission number three, to get into a snowball fight. So. I'm sure you're all wondering, yeah. did I accomplish all these missions? Well, let's take a look at C and my adventures from earlier today. Okay, got my skis, I've got my poles, I've got my boots, and I feel like an astronaut or something. I don't know, this is strange. <laughs> you see, I'm ready for the Olympics now. Look at this, missions accomplished here at Mountain High tonight. 
the judges dismissed Whitney Cunningham, but she talked to me about how women like Tyra Banks and Jennifer Hudson are helping to change people's minds about what size is considered sexy. All right, so you girls are totally fierce on the runway, and I'd love to learn how to do that strut. Can you show me? His daughter, Leila Lee, has picked him right up and is knocking people out. We are now headed for the funicular. I've never been on one. I'm so excited. But it's going to take us down to the marina, to a very chic yacht, to the resort's own private island. Hello, this is Living Large. Estamos en mi ciudad, Miami, celebrando los Grammys Latinos. Born and bred in Miami, the Cuban-American Lisette Gonzalez seems destined for stardom. And she came oh so close to becoming the first ever Hispanic Miss America. One of her first big gigs was a starring role in the off-Broadway smash, four guys named Jose and una mujer named Maria. She wowed even the toughest theater critics in New York. The New York Times called her a bombshell beauty with the face-splitting grin of Julia Roberts.